there for Canada, needs points desperately in this competition. Then it's Marinella Canclini for Italy and Japan's EQ Teshigawara. Teshigawara on the outside there, then it's Canclini. That's China's Yang Yang. There, Natalie Lambert, Marinella Canclini, and EQ Teshigawara. A lot of nerves, a lot of tension. Superb ice and a chance for a very good time indeed. Ready. Lambert taking her time to uh, settle down. And it's Yang Yang out in front. Hot in pursuit, Marinella Canclini for Italy. Natalie Lambert in third place at the moment. IQ Teshigawara right at the back. Three laps to go. Yang Yang leading. Can Cleaney in second place, pulling away perhaps a little bit from Natalie Lambert. Well, in fact, Lambert closing up now. Lambert is such a powerful skater. Two laps to go. She's got to make a move soon. Really trying to close up. Moves up the outside. Nips back inside. Final lap now. It's Yang Yang. Can Cleaney. Lambert. Can she get through? It's going to be close. Goodness me. Natalie Lambert just couldn't quite make it. A splendid race from Yang Yang. Marinella Canclini hanging on by the smallest of margins. Natalie Lambert so brave in third place, trying to find a way through. Ikyu Teshigawara, nothing she could do. There's the winner, Yang Yang. That's Teshigawara finishing in fourth place with a time of 45.595. A look at the start again. And Yang Yang did everything right. A good draw up on the inside. Can Cleaney closing the door on Natalie Lambert. And uh, Lambert losing quite a bit of ground in the opening of that race, but uh, pulling back and almost did enough. Sprinting to the line, a big lunge. But it's Can Cleaney that uh, I'm pretty sure just gets there. No doubt about the winner, Yang Yang for China. She has her place in the finals. There's Marinella Canclini. Second place for her. And uh, a place in the finals. And their confirmation. Just three one hundredths of a second. Splitting Canclini and Lambert. Tremendously exciting race. And so on to the men's semi-finals. That's the lineup for the first. Horacio Fagoni for Italy. And for the Republic of Korea, Dong Sung Kim. Great Britain's Matthew Rowe. Ranked number three in Great Britain, but by far and away the most successful skater here in these championships for Great Britain. Derek Campbell for Canada in this one as well. This will be a real test for Matthew Rowe. Member of the Aldwych Club. That's Fagoni for Italy. Canadian Derek Campbell. That row for Great Britain. And there the Korean Dong Sung Kim. It's a good start. With his first semi-final gets underway in the men's competition. Derek Campbell just with his nose ahead. Matthew Rowe in second place for Great Britain. He's got the Korean right behind him, Dong Sung Kim. And at the back at the moment, and that's dangerous, Orazio Fagoni. Fagoni keeping out of trouble. Three laps to go. Derek Campbell out in front. Matthew Rowe in second place. Can he hold on? Kim looking through. It's Kim now up into second place. Place Matthew Rowe in third. And in fact, Orazio Fagoni moving through. So Fagoni now in third place. Matthew Rowe at the back of the moment. Derek Campbell right out on front. Dong Sung Kim for the Republic of Korea in second place. Orazio Fagoni for Italy in third. Can he find a way through? No, he can't. So Derek Campbell wins that one. Dong Sung Kim for the Republic of Korea in second place. These two will go through to the finals. No place in the final for Orazio Fagoni from Italy. And uh, Matthew Rowe, a splendid effort, did so much early on. 
just losing ground in the last lap and a half. Tremendous effort. Bagoni, winner of the 500 metres in last year's World Championships. Bronze medalist overall, no place for him in the finals. But there the winner, Derek Campbell, read the race well. Second place, Dong Sung Kim for the Republic of Korea. A mere confirmation. Well, a brave effort from Matthew Rowe, but uh, no place in the finals. It's Campbell and Kim that go through. So on to the next heat, and uh, there the defending champion, Mark Gagnon for Canada. Satoru Torao for Japan. The Republic of Korea, Sun Tae Kim. Andy Gable from the United States of America, and uh, the second Canadian, in fact, the third Canadian to make it through into the semi-finals, Eric Beda. That's Torao for Japan, 176. Tremendous pressure on these Japanese skaters. He's the star of the show at the moment. Andy Gable there. For the Canada, Mark Gagnon. And there's the Korean, Sun Tai Kim. That's two Canadians together. Eric Beda. So all eyes on this young man, 176. And a bit of a full start there. And now looks back. So obviously a lot of nerves and a lot at stake. A start so important in this 500 meters. I'm pretty sure it's Eric Bedard from Canada, with the full start there, quickly away this time, and uh, they're not called back. Straight out in front, it's Andy Gable. I'm pretty sure it's Satoru Torao for Japan in second place. Yes, it is. Gagnon in third for Canada. Then it's Beda and the Korean Kim at the back at the moment. Torao now in front. Gable in second place, Gagnon in third, Gagnon up into second place now, so Satoru Torao for Japan, big cheer for him as he goes into the final lap, Mark Gagnon for Canada in second place, and Kim has moved up, I think, into third place, tremendous stuff, Satoru Torao wins that one, he's pleased with that, Mark Gagnon did everything right, a place for him into the finals, the defending champion, Sun Tai Kim, who was at the back for the first couple of laps, did a splendid job at the end there. Finished in third place, and uh, for the United States of America, Andy Gable, who was the early leader, dropped back to fourth place, and Eric Badar finished at the back of the pack at the end. You can see him very wide, losing grip, completely lost his rhythm and control, and Mark Gagnon taking advantage of that. Torawa right out in front. Gagnon just nestling in behind, he's happy with that second place, and you can see there in the background, Sun Tai Kim just edging ahead of Andy Gable for that third spot. Well, it's been a great day's work from this youngster, Satoru Torawa. Brilliant stuff, he wins that, a place in the finals for him, and the defending champion, Mark Gagnon. And there's confirmation of the results of that last semi-final. Well, we're off for another short break, but when we come back, it'll be the finals of both the ladies and the men's 500 meters. Back in a moment. They're playing for places in the last four of the French Cup this weekend, and no doubt about the big one. Bordeaux welcome Montpellier to the Parc Les Scours. It hasn't been a bad vintage for Bordeaux, already into the League Cup final and pushing for a top two champion. Welcome back, now down to the nitty-gritty, the finals 
of the ladies 500 meters. That's the lineup. Yang Yang for China. Then it's Isabel Charest in brilliant form for Canada. Chun Lu Wang for China and Marinella Canclini for Italy. Charay twice under the 45 second mark already in these championships. Marinella Cantlini for Italy on the inside. That's Yang Yang for China. Line number three, this case before the line. Isabel for Canada. And a full start there. Difficult to see exactly who it was. But, uh, <laughs> you can almost sense the tension. Then the starter. And uh, at the beginning of this race, you can almost hear a pin drop. Like Isabel Charay, the first. Back to the line. In fact, it is Marinella Canclini on the inside with the full start. Needs to get it right this time. That's more like it. Canclini perhaps a little slow off the line. Chunlu Wang, I think, for China out in front. Isabel Chere for Canada in second place. Then it's Canclini. And uh, at the back at the moment, it's Yang Yang. That's the situation with three laps to go. Wang out in front. Charade for Canada in second place. Canclini for Italy in third. Charade looking good. Two laps to go. Wang for China out in front. And Charade makes her move now up the inside. Charade for Canada leading. And Canclini gets a fist in the face. Moves up the inside. Trying to get inside. And there's a trip there. Three skaters go down. Yang Yang now out on her own. I can't believe it. Yang Yang wins that. Isabel Charay for Canada, the quickest back up on her feet, but incredible stuff. And Chun Lu Wang holds her head and her hands. Well, can Cleany a victim of that as well? Isabel Charay, who seemed to have done everything right, the door seemed to have been closed on her by uh, Chun Lu Wang. And can Cleany getting a fist in the face as well? Well, it really was a physical race, that. Look at the ch two skaters from China battling it out, trying to get back in front of uh, Isabel Charay. Charay just hanging on. The door closes. The weight's too far forward. Canclini goes down. Charay goes down. And, in fact, Chun Lu Wang going down as well. Chun Lu Wang, it is who's uh, in front at the moment. Just watch it again. Wang moves across. Charay out in front, Canclini trying up the inside. Wang moves in front of Charay, closes the door. And Wang down, taking Isabel Charay and Marinella Canclini with her. Well, Yang Yang taking advantage of that and uh, eventual winner. So five points to uh, Yang Yang. It'll be three points to Isabel Charay, two points to Marinella Canclini. And uh, likely a disqualification for Chun Lu Wang. So there, confirmation, Chun Lu Wang is disqualified. So after two distances, that means that uh, Yang Yang A for China has five points, along with Lee Kyung Chun for the Republic of Korea. Isabel Charay in third place now. Joint third place with three points, along with Hai Kyung Won for the Republic of Korea. That's the classification after the 500 meters. Marinella Canclini joint fifth with Yang Yang on two points. A point for Ikyu Teshigawara from Japan. So on to the uh, men's. 500 meter final. That's the lineup. Mark Gagnon for Canada, defending champion. Satoru Taro for Japan. There he is. Dong Sung Kim for the Republic of Korea. 
And for Canada, Derek Campbell. And for Japan, Korean Dong Sung Kim. Derek Campbell for Canada. Derek on the 19th place. A tremendous semi final from Tarao. Blistering start it is. And Canada, Canada in first and last place at the moment. Terrell trying to look away on the inside there. Satoru Terrell, in fact, losing ground and down into third place, moves back up again now. Derek Campbell. At the back, I think it's Mark Gagnon out in front. And Terrell makes his move. Terrell now leads, and uh, Derek Campbell nips into the lead. So on the final lap, Campbell leading. It's Dong Sung Kim in second place, and that's going to be the finish. Goodness me, a race that the order changed in many, many times. Derek Campbell fought hard there, didn't panic. He was at the back on the first lap. Just uh, biding his time. 156, Dong Sung Kim for the Republic of Korea, finishing in second place. Satoru Tarao from Japan, down in third. And disappointment for Mark Gagnon. Fourth place for him. Well, they're the local hero. Tarao for Japan, only third place. And then Mark Gagnon out in front. Tarao trying to nip inside. And both skaters losing a lot of ground as Derek Campbell makes his move up the inside and takes Dong Sung Kim with him from Korea. We look at it again. Ganyon in front, but uh, there where Campbell made his move and the Korean coming through with him. And that's the situation. The other two unable to get back. Mark Ganyon almost giving up coming out of that final bend. He knew there was no way through. Tremendous stuff from Derek Campbell, winner of the 500 metres. Dong Sung Kim, second place. And uh, Satoru Tarao for Japan in third. So the situation now, after two races, that's the result of the 500 metres. Confirmation of it, Campbell wins. Kim second, Tarao third. And Gagnon for Canada in fourth place. So the overall result at the moment, Mark Gagnon for Canada leading on six points. There it is. Five points for Derek Campbell for Canada. Then for Korea, Dong Sung Kim is uh, joint third place with Orazio Fagoni from Italy. In joint fifth, Satoru Tarao for Japan and Mirko Vulleman from Italy. Seventh, Kai Feng on one point and then Martin Johansson for Sweden.